Hey guys, uh, welcome to the first video of my channel. Today I'm going to be having a look at this Yu Yang King 50 amp 72 volt motor controller. I haven't been able to find many videos of this actually on YouTube, so we're just going to have a look inside it today. So, first thing I see is these connectors, they're relatively heavy duty. Uh, they should be fine for the 50 amps that this controller will run at. We've got quite a few capacitors along that main bus, as well as a number of others on the other side. We've got the main current shunts there, three of them, one long one to add more resistance. And the other cool thing about this controller is it has a Bluetooth module. So if I get the app, which I have, I can program it. So, just for reference, if I zoom in here, Ah, oh, you might be able to see it. There we go. The MOSFETs are a SKD502T. And according to their data sheet, they should be good for 85 volts at 120 amps. 85 volts seems a little bit low in terms of margin for error on a 72 volt controller. But I think they'll be fine. Uh, and otherwise, this side of the controller seems relatively good. I do have to mention, however, that this looks like it has been resoldered or just very poorly soldered at the factory. There is a lot of flux. Sorry for the focus. There's a lot of flux left on the board and they have not cleaned that. But apart from that, the tracks have been beefed up with some copper strips, which is nice. And they've got these nice thick wires soldered directly onto the tabs of the motor phases. So that should be fine in terms of current handling. Otherwise, looks okay. Definitely has been redone at some point. Like, I think this is, might have been a return module that they've fixed up and then resold. But for 177 bucks, not sure how well I did on the deal, but we'll give it a go. I, this is going in a project of mine, an electric vehicle. So I'm curious to test it. Thanks for watching.